Welcome to Pop Turnative, where we dive into topical discussions from the worlds of pop culture, social media, and sports. Here is your host, Peter Romoliotis, aka PD Beats. PD Beats here from Pop Turnative, speaking to Lucy Martin about the scene, which is going to be streaming on a shutter March 10th. Thank you so much for being here. Welcome to the show. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks for having me. So I don't want to sugarcoat it. I mean, this movie is out of control. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, isn't that like, I'm, I'm sure a lot of your interviews are starting like that. I mean, I'm watching this movie and I'm just kind of like, there's so much to process right off the bat. So I'm just curious, is this, is that what you signed up for? Did you know a lot about <laughs> what to expect? Like, I'm just curious about that. <laughs> Yeah, the madness attracted me. <laughs> I thought that is some crazy shit. I want to be involved in it. <laughs> yeah, no, it, it is crazy. And, you know, there is a lot of genre bending happening in, in film these days. You know what I mean? It's being labeled as, you know, a horror comedy. It does have the kind of moments where it will make you laugh laugh it's got those moments where it's it's it is a horror film i mean the visuals just kind of make you uncomfortable but that's the point of a horror film what do you think of this blending of genres like you see in the sea lucy as an actor i'm just curious about that um what with the comedy and the horror you mean yeah or just in general there is a lot of genre bending happening these days there like, is. yeah it's crazy i feel like yeah i think that uh well the way that I sort of went about it I just thought of, if you stay sort of true to the character and try and make them like a real person and yeah. not too character then it then it it has uh then it might work yeah. you know uh I think maybe it's down to the actors to try and like m make that smooth transition <laughs> oh a hundred percent and do you know like, going back to what I started this interview with, like, how much did you know about what this movie was? Like, did you get the script, the scripts, like, way in advance? Like, what did you know when you signed up for this? Um, so I was actually sent the script okay. um, initially and asked if I was interested. Um, and I... <laughs> I think I was drawn to the characters as well, the, the the three girls. I just thought that like I loved the dynamic, and I just thought. And then the more I the more I read, the more I thought I don't really. I I was trying to envision what was going on, and yep. I, I guess I, I I there was only so much I could imagine. Uh, so I thought I've got to meet this guy. Who wrote this? <laughs> <laughs> I want to know more. What who who created this madness? <laughs> And it's going to be available on Shutter on the 10th. And, you know, horror has come such a long way. Um, I think the thing that has, a lot has changed, but I think the thing that hasn't changed is horror fans are just very dedicated fans and they just love all the content out there. So I'm just curious from your perspective. I mean, you're working on this film. It's coming out pretty soon. Um, what do you kind of think of the horror landscape and the horror fans? Like, it's a pretty amazing fan base, specifically. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I know it is. Um, I'm a I'm a horror fan myself. I, I um, sorry, what was the question? <laughs> well, say, what do you think of the current landscape of horror with like the fans that are very passionate and there's so much happening in horror right now, Lucy? It's crazy. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't, I haven't got, a, uh, I don't know. I'm not really sure. <laughs> I don't know. No, I absolutely. Sort of I'm, I'm sort of on the on the outskirts of most things, you know. Well, I think it's gonna it's gonna happen pretty quick though, because you know, so many people have shutters, so many people have access to films. They're gonna watch the seed, and I think there's gonna be a lot of like reactions on social media and everything. So I'm just letting you know, it's gonna be pretty quick. Like the horror movie fans are on it. Hi. <laughs> oh, I'm good. I hope everyone enjoys it. You know, it was such a it was so much fun to make. Yeah. No, I'm so. I, oh, I bet. I I I have I. Yeah. <laughs> Well, you, you, it's funny you say that because I got a chance to watch the movie. Before I watched the movie, I, I saw the trailer a few weeks before I got the screeners for the film. And yeah, even just by watching the trailer, first thing that comes to mind is like, they must have had like a blast filming this. <laughs> <laughs> because, yeah. you know, you're at like, it's like a summer house. Like it has that kind of vibe, you know what I mean? With the pool and everything. <laughs> yeah. Did it feel like a vacation sometimes when you're doing a lot of those scenes, like in the pools and everything? Yeah, I well, sometimes. I mean, we were, I mean, we stayed in, in character, like in and out quite a, quite a lot of it. But mm -hmm. us 
three got on so well. Um, we're still really good friends now that, mm. you know, the minute we start, we stopped filming, we'd go for dinner together and like, or like if we had a day off, which like was, you know, sometimes, um, you know, we would spend it together. So it did, and there were, there were, there were times where it did feel like a holiday. But uh-huh. Oh yeah, no, I, I, I definitely see that. It's so visually stunning. That's my favorite thing about content these days is how they're filmed and everything. Can you talk a little bit about, can you talk a little bit about that? Like being part of a movie that just looks amazing. Like it's just the colors just kind of punch you in the face, don't they? Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, they pop. I thought that. Um, But I mean, obviously we were filming in Malta. um, Like most days were beautiful. It was like most days, it was just like gorgeous weather, um, you know, and we were in like, you know, sometimes we're in bikinis, chilling by the pool. Like that was the vibe. Um, And, and we were, and we were working in this stunning house. Um, So in that aspect, I suppose it was just like, you know, it was fun. It was, it yeah. was fun, you know, uh, apart from when it went really gruesome and then we were like covered in tar <laughs> <laughs> or black goo, I don't know. <laughs> um, yeah, things took a turn and that did not feel like a holiday anymore. <laughs> See, for me specifically, as someone that watches horror, I mean, you said that you're a big horror movie fan as well. Um, and I'm just curious, I mean, different people have different ways for me, I once I saw like a behind the scenes documentary about a bunch of movies, the horror movies, like when I was younger, and it showed like how they did like the blood and the effects and everything. So now like I know that it's fake, right? Like every time I see like a, a bloody scene, I always just like envision people in the back just getting the food coloring ready and everything. So like I, <laughs> so I don't get squeamish now because I kind of have this like mentality that like i know it's fake right which might like mess up the experience a little bit. you find it funny rather than you're rather than being horrified you kind of find there's something amusing about it isn't it because you're like you know how it happens and you know like what's going on behind the scenes so yeah yeah kind of takes the fear out of it doesn't it so you understand where i'm coming from yeah. a little bit right <laughs> i get you yeah i get you i'm still quite jumpy though so I still, if I'm watching a film, I, I get I get so scared that sometimes I can't watch it. I just, you know, have you ever the mix done, between it, yeah. like. Oh yeah, for sure. But have you ever done, uh, have you ever done an escape room before Lucy? Like an escape room? Have you ever done one of those? No, I've not done one yet. So um, <laughs> they have, they really, you know, before, the, obviously I haven't done one in a while because it's been a pandemic, but they have some that are really high scale that are like a horror movie basically. And there was one I did that it was just terrifying. There was like a murder at a house and you're trying to figure out the murder and they have a situation where like you have to find the daughter's locket and they put it a setup where <laughs> there's like a kitchen and there's a window on top, like um, on top of the kitchen sink area. So basically like you're, if, like you're washing windows, there's a window right there. So they have you go into the sink to pull out the locket, right? It's like a task basically. But when you look up, there's someone with a mask right there <laughs> so it's like they they do it on purpose and then i scream and then the people working at the escape room were just like okay hey, that's my guy i'm just gonna like terrify him the whole time oh no yeah. so then they see you out and they're like oh we can get him can you imagine working though at like a like a fun house or like a haunted house just like being like yeah that's the person i'm just gonna go scare that person <laughs> I was, yeah, I think there was, you know, like a Halloween. I remember I was, um, I was, I was filming in Ireland, and the whole cast decided it was doing Vikings at the time, yeah. and the whole cast decided for Halloween we're going to go out and we're going to go to this, and it's basically like this massive warehouse that you walk through. It's like mm-hmm. an experience, but I got so terrified. The, you know, most people was just sort of walking through. It's fine. I was in and out within like two minutes. I was like, this is not for me. I can't do it. It was terrifying. I know it is. It's, it's so crazy. I mean, and again, I know it's fake. It's even worse than the movie one, right? Cause like, like you definitely yeah. know, it's probably like, you're, it's, yeah. it's someone you probably, it's, it's just probably these teens that are working as a summer job at these like haunted house. And just like, but it scares the crap out of me. And then I watch a movie and I'm like, oh, it's just food coloring and cornstarch. Like it's not really blood. But uh, yeah, you did mention before I wrap up, before we wrap up, you did mention Vikings. You played Ingrid on Vikings. I mean, my question for that quickly for you is, 
I mean, that's just a that was just big scale. I mean, the announcement of that show was big scale. What it looked like was big scale. All the costumes and everything. What was it like working on a big scale project like Vikings, Lucy? Uh, you know, it was it was an it was an amazing experience, and um, I'm very very grateful to have been a part of it. Yeah. Um, every you know you're working with the best, like in in every you know in every section of the making of Vikings. Um, yeah, the talent is so vast. Yeah, it's phenomenal. Yeah. It's phenomenal. And now the sequel Vikings Valhalla is out now too. So it's it's all like, <laughs> it's all it's relevant. Like bring, yeah. it all, bring it all back again. Yeah, yeah it is. I'm mean, actually yet to watch it, but I'm going to start watching. I'm excited. It's stuff. funny. I've, I've already seen the trailer and I'm recognizing the sets and the... Thing. Yeah, I'm excited to watch it. No, there's some good stuff there. And Lucy, I wanted to thank you so much for coming on Pop Turn to the chat about the seed coming to Shutter. Thank you so much for your time. This was great chatting with you. Thank you. It was lovely to meet you. Yeah, absolutely. So very quickly though, could you plug away? Um, is there anywhere people could follow you on social media? Is, is Instagram probably the way to go? Yeah, Instagram. Yeah, I, I'm not on anything else. It's okay, just Instagram. Just Instagram. <laughs> so it's, it's easy. Just, it's just Instagram. I'm, I'm pretty basic. It's just <laughs> like... It's actually, it's not Lucy Martin, it's Moosey, it's M-U-C-Y, and then Latin. Amazing. It's very old. I've had it forever. <laughs> Perfect. Well, this has been Pop Turn at YouTube.com slash Pop Turn for previous episodes. You're going to be able to catch Lucy Martin in The Seed, which is streaming on Shutter March 10th. Until next time, this is Lucy Martin and PD Beats signing off. Thank you for tuning in to Pop Turnative. Make sure to check out our past episodes of Pop Turnative on YouTube. Be sure to like Popternative on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. This has been an Autograph Communications production.